Morning folks, it's day two here in the Amish countryside. We're gonna go out and we're gonna show you the chicken house. So come on along with us. Let's have a little bit of fun today. We'll show you this chicken farm. We'll talk to the chicken farmer about what he does. And it looks like he's got cows again. Uh, I didn't think he had cows, but it looks like he has cows. Check them out. It's nice and chilly this morning. You be standing on a block, huh? Yeah, and I'll get down a moderate hole. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the farm vlog this morning. We're still up in Amish country, and we're with Steve Miller here on his chicken farm. We've got a couple chicken houses we're standing in between right now, and this is a great old big grain bin. And we want to talk to Steve a little bit about his farm, a little bit about farm culture, and a little bit about you know what he does for a living and the history of this place. So, Steve, welcome to the farm vlog. Steve's been on here before, but kind of in the shadows one time last year. So tell me about your farm. This farm's been in the family. Uh, my, my grandfather owned it. The immigrant who migrated here from PA, uh, he owned like 2,000 acres in this area. And this was the first deeded farm in Walnut Creek Township. And he's actually buried up here on the hill. I know my grandpa bought this farm at sheriff auction for I think $12,000. Wow. So it's been in the family ever since. Your grandfather bought that? My grandfather bought it, So that's it, probably yes. back in the 50s or 40s? Okay. Mm -hmm. He's got a cool old 57 Farmall tractor in there. It's really awesome, but we're not going to get into the tractors today. We're just going to show you the farm a little bit. Although, next time we might do that. Tell me about your chicken houses. You have, we got two chicken houses, one here and one here. How many chickens will they hold? Uh, these barns are 40 wide and 500 feet long. The program I'm with right now, they put in about 25,000 birds per house. Okay, cool. So 25,000 birds are in the house for how long? So they come in as little little chicks. They come in here, they hatch, they hatch them one day and bring them in the same day. Okay. And uh, then the program I'm with right now, they have them six weeks. Okay. They keep them six weeks. Six weeks and then they come back in, round them up and take them to a slaughterhouse and, yes. and process them. Mm -hmm. I guess from here, is there a slaughterhouse locally that they go to or it's do they ship them? It's uh, about 20 minutes to half hour from here. Okay. Okay. Do they come at night time to get to pick up the chickens? They do both night and day. Both night and day. It, so it, it, these houses are enclosed on both sides. Okay. Gotcha. So they can, they can catch during the day. Okay. They don't cool. prefer it, but they do it if they have to. Gotcha. Now if it's an open house, they, uh, where they get natural light in there, they typically do that in the daytime, in the they nighttime. They do this during the night. Okay. Because it's just, bright. right. Just easier to pick up yep. the chickens. chickens. Okay. And there are no chickens in here right now. You're in between. Is that right? Yes. I get chickens Tuesday. Tuesday. So how many days in between chickens? Uh, this time I was empty 19 days, but their aim is 14 days. Okay. It okay. gives the barn time to recover. Okay. Cool. So the longer they're empty, the better the birds will perform. Gotcha. Now when they're empty, do you open the doors and let them air out? Because I don't smell any chicken manure and they're full of chicken manure right now. Am I right? Well, we like eat crust. Okay. We take the crust and the wet stuff out. Okay. And then we put like PLT down. Okay. To uh, counteract the ammonia. Okay, what's PLT? Poultry litter treatment. It burns huh. up the uh, ammonia. PLT is poultry litter treatment. So let's talk a little more about the history of the farm. Now, you used to have dairy cows up here, is that right? Yes. Okay. And the dairy cows went away about how many years ago? I sold my dairy cows probably eight years ago. Eight years ago. Was there just too much competition from big farms, big operations, or uh, too much work versus reward? or? I didn't have much help anymore. I had to do rotator surgery on my shoulder. And uh, like I tell people, I was milked out. The well, cows had to go. Cows had to go. It was just too much. I guess it's a lot more labor yeah. intensive than coming in here and basically coming in here and it gets set up. You just move some things around and fix little trinkets and doodads inside the chicken house and everything else is controlled by computer. So we'll go inside here guys and we'll look at this computer system. I know a lot of people around here though are getting out of the dairy thing I guess because they're kind of being pushed out by bigger companies. Is that right? It's well just... the prices are just fluctuating constantly. Okay so it's just not a steady good no, income. it's not a steady um... So you find that the chicken houses are a steady good income. Do you want to build more chicken houses? The chicken houses are just like anything else in agriculture. Mm -hmm. You don't get rich quick. I think it's much more steady income than milk and cows. Gotcha, gotcha. So last year when we were here, they had just gotten baby chicks. 
We're not allowed inside when they have chickens in there just for the interest of the health of the bird. But today, we're gonna go inside the chicken coop and see what it looks like. Let's do it. Let's do it. Your shoes won't get sandy. Yep. There's actually fresh sawdust. Maybe you can't get your foot in there. So you guys know for the interest of biosecurity and my shoes poop security, we put these little plastic boots on here to protect our feet when we walk into the chicken poop house. And there's a lot of chicken poop in here. Folks, I had Thanksgiving dinner yesterday and I think it's still, it's still pushing right in here. Now what you've all been waiting for. We've been talked to a whole lot about fresh, farm fresh, organic type chickens. Now you can do organic chickens in here, is that right? The, these chickens here are antibiotic free. Okay, so antibiotic No drugs. Free. No drugs, no antibiotics. That's a good thing. That's the thing that you're buying in the store. He was just telling me, now how many chickens per day are consumed? This is in the United States? This is the United States. How many chickens per day are consumed? Roughly about 60 million. 60 million birds consumed in the United States per day. Guys, that's why you do have these little small scale farms that are specializing in grass-fed birds because you just cannot feed the country on a small scale like that. It has to be like this. Now, would you call this a factory farm? Would you call this a factory farm? I don't think so. I don't think so either. After being in here, the, the evils that we're told about of these chicken houses, the mystery got taken out of it just by going through here and talking with the man that farms. This man is nice, has a great heart. You can tell, you can just listen to him and tell he's got a great heart and he wouldn't do anything to harm animals. So this is the way he makes his living. You gotta feed a nation and this is how we gotta do it. That's eight billion a year. Eight, eight billion chickens a year. Eight billion chickens a year, unbelievable. All right guys, we're gonna talk to him about the electronic system here inside the chicken house. And uh, what, what do we have here? This box here has all the switches for all the fans, Okay. all the heaters and all that stuff is in here gotcha. and then here's the computer itself this thing's programmed like when the chicks come this house will be 90 degrees and uh, the computer will tell the fans when to come on when to shut off all right uh, it draws fresh air in through attic inlets okay in the ceiling gotcha until the birds are too big and it asks for too many fans then those will shut and inlets on the side will open okay Cool. It's, it's controlled by static pressure. Okay. And uh, that static pressure will tell the computer how exactly how far to open those vents. Gotcha. So it doesn't get too cold or too warm. Cool. So the, the system works here. This is your fan exhaust system in here. The switches. And the switches yeah. for it. And then the computer system here. But judging off the age of the birds and the size of the birds, it knows how to adjust the ventilation in the house and the humidity also. Yes, right. it's got humidity sensors. If the humidity gets too high, it calls for extra fan time. Okay, cool. So all this computer system just kind of makes it low stress for the birds. And so actually they have an even better life than they would outside in a stressful, dark, light, predators, all that stuff. This is much safer and much lower stress on a bird. Much better. Cool. In fact, they, they bring people in for inside audits. Okay. They bring them in to make sure that the birds are happy. Yeah. Smiling, high-fiving, <laughs> whatever. I've got little boxes that are maybe three feet in uh, square. Uh, I have to put those every 50 feet to the center of the house uh -huh. so these birds can sit on there. Maybe 100 out of 25,000 okay. get to sit on there while the rest are, you know, ticked off that they can't sit on them too. But, you know, that's what makes them happy. So. Cool. That's so, what consumers are calling for. Nice. What they want, happy birds. So, the question is, is a chicken a person? Is a chicken your grandma? Is a chicken your uncle? Is a chicken a chicken? A chicken is a chicken. And these chickens have lower stress because they're in a chicken house that controls their environment. Kind of like your house. Air conditioning for chickens. So during the summertime, when it gets real hot, what, what do we have? What, what happens? Why don't we come inside and I'll okay. show you. Okay, cool. So folks, this may be your first time ever seeing inside a chicken house. Pretty cool, pretty interesting anyway. So what do we have? So when it gets real hot outside, these black doors on the side here, they will open okay. and all the side vents along the top will shut. Okay. And the fans are at the back end of the house and they draw air through these, um, there's like corrugated cardboard on the outside uh -huh. where water runs through gotcha so an evaporative cooler so you walk in here it's 90 degrees out there you walk in here and it feels like 
air conditioning. Yeah. It drops at 10 degrees in here. Nice. And keeps the birds nice and nice and cool. Nice and comfy. Cool. So this is like a luxury suite for how many? 25,000 birds? Yes. 25,000 birds. Isn't that amazing, guys? We, when, when they bring the chicks, we put a divider in the middle of the house. Uh huh. So we only have like half house brooding. Gotcha. They, they stay in half house until um, they're two weeks old. And then we let them through the whole house. And by the time they're ready to leave, this is solid white full solid. of chickens. Wow, that's Six crazy. And then there's a feeding system here. Is that what this is yes, up here? Yes, it's up at the ceiling. Okay. We'll drop those. These guys are the feeders, and they slowly drop to the floor here. And tell me about those. So we drop these to the floor, and there's a control pan at the end here. Whenever that is eaten empty, it'll trigger the motor, okay. which brings feet from the center down. Nice. So this pan up here has a sensor in it. That sensor tells when most of the rest of them, because they're pretty much evenly eaten, it tells when the rest of them need food, and it starts running this motor and pulls from the grain silos that we were at just a minute ago outside. These Neat. are the water lines. Okay, what we got? Oh, yeah, poultry nipples up There's there. Little poultry nipples. Nice, look at that. Never seen so many nipples in my life, guys. These, these birds, by the time they're ready to leave, they'll be drinking over 2,000 gallons of water a day. So up here is a heating system right here. It's a heating system. Okay, it's just radiant heat. It runs off of gas, is that right? I think mm -hmm. I see a gas line here. So what kind of energy consumption does one of these houses go through? Like, what's your gas bill a month? My gas bill, the electricity actually averages a little higher. Okay. My total, if you average it out, you know, per month, it's like around eleven to twelve hundred dollars. Okay, per yeah, house. Per house. Okay. Now the way this works, I guess, uh, does you you pay for the house, you pay for the power, you pay for the gas, and pay for the labor. you pay for the labor, and and they come in and cut you a check for your chickens. What does it work out to be per bird around about? So you have twenty five thousand birds in here. You can figure between four and five thousand dollars of profit uh, per house. Nice, nice. Well, that's pretty, and that's per harvest or each harvest four and five thousand bucks and that's over a six week well, period right? that, that that's per month per month okay yeah, four to five thousand dollars per month per house wow wow that's kind of what it figures out to so why aren't more people chicken farming i guess because you got big payments this thing is this is expensive I'm, yes I'm, these are this is just this is actually a small house okay wow. they're putting up you know they're 60 by 600s now wow a house this size will probably run around three hundred thousand dollars Wow. So these panels right here are removed. In the summertime, these panels are removed. They, no, they actually just swing in. Oh, they really? They hinge on the bottom. Okay. They hinge on the bottom and they just drop in like this. Gotcha. So and they're... The, the fans draw the air through that wet corrugated cardboard. Okay. So that's all controlled by the computer yes. too. And these are the boxes that the chicks get to sit on in the middle. Okay. Like a crate. You get them up high. Yeah. It's supposed to make them happy. Happy chicken boxes. Yep. What are these guys here? Is okay. this a waterer? When, when we get ready for little chicks, uh huh. we will drop these. First we'll put like a piece of paper, the full length of these feeders. Uh huh. Then we'll drop these, these feed lines on, on that paper. And then <clears throat> these white pieces of plastic, we'll, we'll move those to the side and there's a hole under there. Okay. And, and there's one of these little feeders. They're called turbo growers. Uh huh. We'll put one of those under each one. Uh, okay. And those fill up. Gotcha. So it, it gives them a lot more feeding room. And then once we migrate them, the, those empty and we put them back on the wall. Gotcha. So the chicks need to eat closer to the ground, basically. And yes, and they can they can get at that a lot easier with a lot less uh, feed feed loss. Gotcha. And, and then that when once these feed lines are on the paper. We bring this side of the paper up uh -huh. with clothespins and we fasten them to the wire up here. Okay. And then when we bring the chickens in and unload them, we will dump them on this side. Okay. That way, with the paper up, they can't, you know, get under our wheels and stuff while we unload ah, them. Ah, gotcha. And once everything's done and the, the doors are closed, we'll come through here and we'll put put that paper down and then they can run over the whole floor. Cool. And now, That's how we control when we unload. Does the paper just disintegrate yep. into the... Okay, just goes into the litter. Okay. 
Do you sell the litter? I see all this nice sawdust down right here. Do you? I guess you're saying you you sell this stuff or you swap it for well, fresh? I actually use it on the farm. Okay, cool. I haven't bought fertilizer since I've got my chicken houses. This yeah. is old litter right here. Okay. We just put a load of fresh, fresh sawdust across the top. Okay. It just makes it look nicer and uh, kind of helps with the ammonia smell. Okay. So will you leave this? You'll put chickens in on top of this again? Yes. And how much litter, how deep will the litter be eventually after uh, so many we're runs? Allowed, we're allowed to use use litter for one year. We okay. have to, it has to be cleaned out once a year. Gotcha, gotcha. So it might be six or eight inches in here by the time we clean it out. Wow, and that is just... And the birds actually do well on, on used litter. Wow. That's probably how many tandem dump truck loads of... <laughs> of litter is that i mean that's got to be like 200 tons of, of chicken manure it's a lot probably not quite that much really so but uh yeah there's a lot of manure in here it's valuable stuff you can get 20 dollars a ton for it if you sell it you don't want to put too much of this stuff on like pasture land yeah uh it just <clears throat> promotes too much growth yeah but it's excellent stuff for corn so folks there's a tour of a chicken house if you've never been inside one if you don't know the science behind it now i hope you know a little bit more so this farm that we're staying on right here you can come and stay on it too i'm going to post a link down below these guys have a farm stay it's in amish country sugar creek ohio i thought it was dover ohio but it's near dover sugar creek ohio you can come and stay on the farm stay in this little farm stay if you caught the video yesterday check it out if not I'll post a link right here and you can check it out. So here we are in the chicken house, somewhere you've probably never been, somewhere you probably were always curious about. And so am I. Now you know. Thanks a lot for coming, guys. Click that like button down there, subscribe to the channel. And if it's your first time, please click that bell down there. It'll notify you when I throw up a new video. All right. Thanks a lot. Well, Woo! come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, would you mind? That's what happens when your legs are too long. <laughs> too much turkey and too long legs. <laughs> I told you you had a good heart. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Come on back and see me.